Hello children, today we will revise Aunt Jennifer's Tigers by Adrian Rich. Let's quickly revise the poem. As you must remember, the poem is a feminist poem. It was, it was critical of male oppression. And we see that a lady, Aunt Jennifer, probably the poet's aunt, has been terrorized all her life. And now she has taken the escape route of knitting uh, tapestries with wool in where she creates a world which is free of oppression and terror and she has those tigers in a green forest roaming around prancing regally majestically and she in fact transfers her own feelings of escaping from that op oppression into the tigers she but she as we go through the poem we see that she is scared even to imagine being free the tigers are her symbol of freedom but she is scared to knit those tigers even. She is scared, she's so scared that her fingers flutter and she feels weighed down. She finds the needle very heavy. She is very very scared. She doesn't, she realizes by the end that even if she builds this world, she is not going to be able to escape this oppression, this terror, even this slavery even after her death. But she hopes that her tapestry will go on and symbolize her dreams of freedom and the tigers will go on prancing in the green forest forever free. Now you might as in the poetry section you will face two questions. One in the uh, form of a comprehension where you will be given a few lines from the text of the poem and you will be made to answer the comprehensive questions beyond this. Then there is a short answer question which will be mostly about the content of the poem and the style of the writing or about the incidents in the poem or the symbols etc. Let's first do the comprehension. Aunt Jennifer's fingers, this is the second stanza, in that why do her fingers flutter? Aunt Jennifer is a very scared lady. She has been oppressed all her life by her husband, probably before that by her family and her fingers flutter even to imagine freedom. She is making a tapestry which is which is symbolizing, which is depicting free tigers in a free forest. And she is even, she is scared, she has her thing, she is nervous even to start knitting it. Then, why does she find it hard to pull the needle? She feels weighed down by her life, by her marriage, and she feels the needle to be very heavy because even in her dreams, she is not able to, even in her imagination, she is not able to feel free. She has been so badly and so long oppressed. That is what you have to write. Now, there is a line explanation. Massive weight of uncle's wedding band. The wedding band is the wedding ring that her husband, uncle, as an aunt, must have got from uh, at the time of his of the, their wedding. And that weight is that symbol, that ring is a symbol of how after marriage she has been weighed down by him weighed down by being his slave probably being oppressed being tortured and she is totally weighed down her personality has been finished and she yearns for freedom but she cannot achieve it how is aunt jennifer affected by the weight of matrimony it is the same answer in framing in a different word framing in some different words she has been affected by the weight of matrimony so badly that she feels the ring to be a symbol of weight she is weighed down by it. She is not free at all. She doesn't, she cannot even knit a tapestry without being uh, nervous or without being feeling oppressed. Now, bring out the significance of the word ringed in the poem. The word ringed is used in the last stanza, the third stanza. But before that, we have a reference to the wedding band. The ring and that point is a wedding band which binds people, one, pe one person to another in a holy matrimony and also for life but for her she has been given that ring as a symbol of slavery symbol of oppression by the husband who has probably tortured her all his life and in the third stanza also she she thinks that she would be able to free herself in that imaginative world but she's so suppressed by him that she now realizes that even in death that ring will be on her and even in death as in life, he will be mastering her.
Now, why do you think she created animals that are so different from her own character? You have to say that she was so oppressed all her life that only in her only her tapestry was the way which to find freedom in her imagination. She wanted an escape route, and this was a mechanism to escape the oppression, the slavery that she was undergoing. And that is why she builds, she embroiders, or she knits these characters which are totally tigers, which are totally free, regal, majestic, and which are in who are enjoying the freedom in the forest and not are not affected by the presence of any man so she is actually rebelling in her imagination against the uh, patriarchal society what might the poet be suggesting he is suggesting the contrast that she is using the tapestry as an escape route what she cannot become her, in her own life she wants her tigers to be so that she is at least able to express her yearning for freedom in that tapestry now where does aunt jennifer seek refuge obviously she seeks uh, she seeks a refuge in her tapestries in her imagination in her world of imagination where nobody else can understand what she is going through and she wants to escape this freedom does she find her freedom no she does not find her freedom because she has been so tortured all her life she has accepted it as a way of life she knows that this will go with her death even till her death she will not be free but she hopes that her tigers that her imagination the imaginative world that she has created will symbolize freedom forever